Hello guys, we have discussed earlier the colligative properties and four types of colligative properties. So colligative properties are the properties which depends upon the number of solute particles or the constituent of the matter. And we have seen in the last video, there are four types of colligative properties. First one is the elevation of boiling points. Second one is the depression in freezing point. Third is the lowering of vapor pressure. And last one is the osmotic pressure. So, in today's lecture, we are going to see the elevation of boiling points, the first colligative property in detail. So, as the heterogeneous equilibrium of interest when considering boiling occurs in between the solvent vapor and the solvent in the solution. The pressure is being one atmosphere. So, as we have seen the elevation in boiling point occurs only when the vapor pressure of the solution or the solvent becomes equal to the vapor pressure of the surrounding that is one atmosphere then and then only there is a elevation occurs in the boiling point. So, we denote the solvent by A and the solute by B. So, for solvent we will use notation capital A and for solute it will be capital B. The equilibrium is established at a temperature for which the chemical potential of A that is a solvent and when this solvent is get converted into a vapor it will be denoted by gas. So, you can write here in equation first mu A star for gaseous system is equal to mu A star for liquid plus RT star ln of Xa. So, here mu A star is the chemical potential of the solvent when solvent is in the gaseous phase. Then mu A star liquid is the chemical potential of the solvent when it is in the liquid form and here star represents the standard conditions. So, this is our equation number 1. Therefore, this equation number 1 implies that the presence of solute at the mole fraction xb. So, when we have initially only solvent is there and we are going to add the solute into it. So, solvent mole fraction is xa and solute mole fraction is the xb. So, xb causes an increase in normal boiling point. Obviously, we know Whenever we are going to add solute particles, then and then only there is increase in boiling point or elevation in the boiling point. So, when we uh, add the solute particles into the solvent, obviously its small fraction is Xb and it causes an increase in normal boiling point from T to T star plus delta T. So, initial boiling point is suppose T, it will increase us up to T star plus delta T, where delta T is the change in temperature and which can be given by equation 2 in a bracket R T star square divided by delta H vaporization bracket complete into Xb. Here Xb is the mole fraction of the solute, delta T is the change in temperature, R is the molar gas constant. Tb star square here Tb is the boiling temperature and delta Hv represents the enthalpy of vaporization or change in enthalpy. So, this is our equation number 2 which shows the change in temperature delta T. Now, the equation for the equality of chemical pressures or sorry chemical potentials of the vapor and liquid phases of the solvent. So, we will see the equation for the chemical potentials of vapor and the liquid phase of the solvent. So, see the equation mu A star gas is equal to mu A star liquid plus RT ln of Xa. Here A is used for the solvent and 
एक्स ए प्लस एक्स बी इज इक्वल टू वन एज वी नो दैट द मोल फ्रैक्शन और द सम ऑफ मोल फ्रैक्शन इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू वन सो मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ द सॉल्वन प्लस मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ द सोलोट इज इक्वल टू वन एंड वेन वी वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट द मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ ओनली सॉल्वन देन यू कैन रीअरेंज द इक्वेशन एंड राइट द इक्वेशन एट एक्स ए इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस एक्स बी सो दिस इज द मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ द सॉल्वेंट नाउ just put x a value in the above equation of mustar gas so mustar a of a gas is equal to mustar a of liquid plus rt ln of in a bracket 1 minus xb so instead of x a i have written only 1 minus xb then we want to find out value of 1 minus xb so just mu star gas minus mu star liquid divided by this rt it is the value of ln of 1 minus xb now as we know that the definition of gibbs free energy dg upon dni at constant pressure and temperature is equal to d mu so you can write simply dg is equal to d mu so ln of 1 minus xb is equal to delta g vaporization divided by rt this is our equation number 3 and here delta g vaporization is the molar gibbs free energy of the vaporization of a pure solvent now xb is the mole fraction of the pure solute then the definition of delta g vaporization is as as we know delta j is equal to delta h minus t delta s simply you can write delta h values and there is a suffix vaporization so delta g vaporization is equal to delta h vaporization minus t delta s vaporization now this is our equation number 4 so just put this equation number 4 in equation number 3 so left side remains as it is ln of 1 minus xb is equal to just put value of delta g and the value is delta h vaporization minus t delta s vaporization divided by rt so when we put this value the equation will become the equation by 5 so ln of 1 minus xb is equal to delta h vaporization divided by rt minus t delta s divided by t star now this is our equation number 5 so t star and t star get cancelled here r is remain so here in equation number 5 divided by rt to both terms delta h vaporization divided by rt minus t delta s divided by rt here r is remain by mistake so you can write here r in equation number 5 at the place of t star you can write rt star so ln of 1 minus xb is equal to delta h vaporization divided by rt star minus delta s divided by r because here t star t star get cancel only delta s upon r will be remain so this is our equation number 6 when the mole fraction of the solute is equal to 0 that means only pure solvent is present so you can write ln of 1 minus ln of xb xb is equal to 0 so only term is ln of 1 is equal to delta h vaporization divided by rt minus delta s upon r so this is our equation number 7 now just subtract equation number 6 from equation number or just do subtraction of 6 minus 7 so ln of 1 minus xb minus ln of n 1 is equal to delta h vaporization divided by rt minus delta s upon r 
minus equation number 7 is delta H EH vaporization divided by RT minus delta S upon R. So, subtraction is there. So, minus term becomes positive plus delta S upon R. So, minus delta S upon R and plus delta S upon R, these two terms get cancelled. So, remaining equation is delta H vaporization upon RT minus delta H vaporization divided by RT star. So, we can write ln of 1 is equal to 0. That's why remaining term is only ln of 1 minus xb. So, just write equation as delta H vaporization upon R into 1 upon t minus 1 upon t star. So, when we take common term delta H vaporization divided by R outside the bracket. So, remaining terms in the bracket are 1 upon t minus 1 upon t star. So, you can write this equation as ln of 1 minus x b is equal to delta H vaporization upon R in a bracket t star minus t divided by t into t star. So, this is the equation. Now, this equation can be written as just put t star is equal to t1 and t is equal to t2. And rewrite the equation as follow. Ln of 1 minus x v is equal to delta H vaporization upon R into t1 minus t2 divided by t1 t2. And x b is very very less than 1 for solute. Therefore, ln of 1 minus x b is equal to ln of 1 minus ln of x b. So, only remaining term is minus ln of x b. And we know the definition of mole fraction x b is equal to n b upon n a plus n b. Here n a is the number of moles of the solvent and n b are the number of moles of the solute. So, you can write just n b upon n a because the number of moles of the solvent are much greater in amount than the sol solute moles. So, just the dividation term is only n a. So, x b is equal to n b upon n a number of moles of the solute divided by number of moles of the solvent. Now, the amount of solvent in 1 kg of solvent of molar mass capital M is. So, we want to find out the amount of solute in 1 kg of the amount of solvent in 1 kg of solvent of molar mass capital M is. Na, Na is the number of moles of the solvent is equal to 1 kg divided by capital M. So, this is can be written as the definition we have written in the last slide is Xb is equal to Nb upon Na. So, this term is written here. So, A is equal to Nb into as we know Na is equal to 1 kg upon the mass. So, just write the equation as capital M divided by 1 kg because here Na is in the divide. Then you can write here Nb upon 1 kg is equal to Mb. So, here Mb represents the molality of the solution. So, Mb upon cap Nb into capital M divided by 1 kg. So, Nb divided by 1 kg you can write is equal to Mv. Here, M is the molality and capital M represents the mass. So, our equation number 2 we have seen already which represents the value of delta T. Here is the equation number t, uh, 2 which represents delta T and this equation can be written as Delta T is equal to in bracket R T star square into capital M divided by delta H vaporization into small M B. Here M B is the molality. Now, as we know the ebullioscopic constant is denoted by K B. So, K B is equal to R T star into capital M divided by delta H vaporization. So, R T star square 
into m divided by delta h vaporization here you can write is equal to kb so delta t becomes kb into mb here rt star square is there so change in temperature is directly proportional to the molality so this last equation delta t is equal to kb into mb represents the temperature change is directly proportional to the molality